glad you're here. This is Coach Vicki again. This is Ayla. She's here to help me today. Uh, we're going to start out with a warm-up. Go ahead. You're going to do five sideways. You're going to go all the way through. This is one. Two. Keep going. Get your heart rate up. Three. Four. And five. Then you're going to come back here and you're going to jump up ten times. Go. Up and set down. One, two, or that. Three, four, stay in the middle. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Relax. Okay, so you want to try and do sideways. Do three sets of five. Jump up and down ten times. Do three sets of five. Now you're going to jump over and step back up. You're going to do that five times and you're going to do three sets of five. Okay, so you're going to jump over and up. Step up and do it, come down and do it again. Step over, up, three, try and stick it, four, look out, don't look down, one more, make it good, look straight out, big jump and stick it, there you go. So to stick it, if you're looking straight out, it's easier to stick, if you're looking down, that's when you're going to lose your balance, okay? So now we're just going to do uh, arm circles, stand right here and do arm circles, and backwards. Good. Now you're going to bring your arms up over your head and straddle. Just try and reach all the way through your legs really fast. One, two, three. Do ten. Four. Faster. Five, six. Stretch those ham hamstrings. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So try and do three sets of those, okay? Now you're going to touch your toes right and left so you can do a big straddle. And make sure this arm's all the way up when you're on this side. Touch your toe. Ready, go. One, fast, fast, fast. Two, do ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So do three sets of those. Now you're going to do hollow body rock. So lay this way. You guys, again, if you have a mat, go ahead and use it. So you're going to stay nice and hollow, tummy in, and rock. Ten times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you're going to do three sets of those, and then you're going to do candlestick sit-ups. So you're going to go ahead and lay back on the floor, sorry. And you're going to bring your toes up to, the, to my hand, stretch up, and push up ten times. One, keep your hands flat. Two, if you need to, for intermediate, you can just put your hands down like this, okay? For advance, you want them over your head. Ready, go. Hand. One, two, three, four. Lay your head down. Five, six. Relax your head. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. So when you're doing those, do three sets of ten. Try and keep your legs together. Lock your knees, point your toes, push your hands into the floor, okay? And then the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and lay down one more time, facing this way. And you're going to pull your knees up. I want you to put your arms behind your head like this. And you're going to be, you're going to take this elbow and pull it to this knee, working this side of your abs, okay? So pull up, try and touch your knee. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, two more, nine, ten. Then you're going to switch legs and work the other side. So you want to do three sets of those on each leg. So after you come up, you're going to roll your ankles. You can even either roll them like that or roll them out uh, with the pipe like we've been doing. Either way. But when you start doing gymnastics, you want to make sure everything's warmed up, everything's stretched so you don't hurt anything. Okay, now you're going to stand up, and you can come over to a wall and hold on to the wall. We're going to do some calf raises, and I want you to start with your feet in. you got three muscles in the back of your calves, and you want to work all of them, and this works one of them. So you're going to pull up really tall and releve. Keep your chin up ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and straight legs. And go. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and out. Make sure when you're doing this that your legs stay straight. You go up and releve as high as you can. Your tummy's in, your bottom's under, and your chin is up. Okay, so you want to stretch up as tall as you can. Go. One, there you go. Two, tummy in, bottom under. Three, four, squeeze everything up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I want you to do three sets of each of those. So then you're going to do your wrist. So forward, back, side to side, under. Just make sure they're good and stretched out. Take some time to do all these stretches, okay? Now you're going to lay on your back, feet facing this way, and you're going to push up in a bridge. We're going to work some, uh, lots of bridges today, so make sure that before you do, you stretch your back out. So I want you to rock back and forth ten times looking at the floor. Two, three, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and come down and then just make sure you rock it out really good, okay? So that whole warm-up might take 10, 15 minutes. I really want you to take your time, do it right, get your heart rate up before you start working on the skills. All right, so now we're going to work on our floor skills for uh, advanced gymnastics, and we're going to do front walkovers and back walkovers, okay? So we'll start out with front walkovers. Go ahead and do it from this way. Stretch up tall. You're, you're going to do that lunge, reach long. Nice. Hers is really good. Parents at home, though, I want you to help them with these, okay? So all I want you to do is a handstand and stop in the split so I can kind of explain to them what they'll need to do, okay? Reach and stretch. So they want to be in this fit split. Make sure you're locking the knees and pointing the toes. And as this foot's coming down, this leg over here, you're going to lean the shoulders back. Go ahead and start leaning them back. Back that way, okay? So that way her foot's close to the hand. This leg stays up. So kind of do it in phases, okay? And then keep looking at your hands, Ayla. As you're rocking her up, she wants to finish looking at her hands with her leg up or pointed on the floor. Pointed on the floor. Because all your weight should still be on this leg. Don't throw your head back. Just pull your chin up. There you go. Good. Try it again. So parents, just make sure you're there for her. Um, she can do it by herself, but some of you aren't ready to do it by yourself yet. So the way to spot is just to get in there under them, okay? Reach long, lift your leg right here. Hold them up and pull them up. Ta-da! Okay? Do it one time by yourself. Stretch up tall. So this is for stars, okay? Your first star is just finishing the front walkover no matter what it looks like. Your second star is passing through that handstand with a straight back. So you don't want to keep your uh, back bent the whole time. You actually want to stop. You're not really stopping, but you have to push through your shoulders to get tall. So you're going to reach, arch your back. So you don't want to keep that arch. You want to push up really tall here like you're doing a handstand before you push your chest back to finish it, okay? So good form is the third one, okay? So the first one is just doing it. The second one is passing through that handstand. Make sure you're pushing through your shoulders before you actually do the front walkover. And then the third one is just, if it looks really good, good form, we'll give you three stars, okay? Good job, Miss Ayla. Okay, now that we're done with floor, we're gonna go to beam, okay? Now, I've put just a piece of painter's tape on uh, a mat, and it, it works really well, and it comes up if you need it to. So you could even put painter's tape on your floor, and it'll peel right up, okay? So we're going to just practice on the floor on this line, working handstands and cartwheels. And when they get pretty good, then you can go to a low beam, because I know some of you have some beams at home that are low to the floor. Um, so let's try that. So I want your first foot to be here, because there's not some, some people that have beams at home. They're not real long, okay? So you're going to stretch up. You're going to go into it. And your goal is to try and keep everything on the line. Hand, hand, foot, foot. One, two, three, four. Everything's moving uh, at the same time, not fast and not slow, just keep it flowing, okay? Reach, and one, two, three, four. Very good, that was good. So you want to look under your arm after you do it again. Okay, 
I'm going to stop you in a handstand and a strap. Okay? When you get right here, make sure you're pushing really tall on your back straight. You're going to look under your arm and look here and watch that foot come down and land on the line. Okay? So you want to see your foot land because when those beams are up here, four foot tall or three foot tall, and they're four inches wide, you want to make sure your foot's going to land on it. So you actually want to, you want to see your hands land, you want to see your foot land. Okay, the only thing you can't see is the back foot. So that's why it's important to land on the front foot, make sure the toe's turned out like this on the line and not like this or this, okay, because this isn't going to give you the good balance, okay. So make sure you're here, and that way you can just feel the beam, make sure it's there before you put your foot down to lunge, okay. So stretch, reach long. Look over. Good. Now her back foot would have come off the beam if she were actually on a beam. So she was. She put this foot down too early. Okay. You want to make sure you have your balance. Make sure the foot's behind you and over the back of the beam, and then and put your foot down and make sure that these feet are in a straight line, and your feet are actually turned out. Okay. On the beam, and not like that. Okay. Try it one more time. Don't forget to look over your shoulder or your armpit. Better, you just missed the beam. Try it one more time. So if you can't do this on a line, don't try it on your beam, okay? Because sometimes you have to do a thousand of them to get it right, and then you get to the beam, and then you got to do another thousand. Very good, but the back of her foot fell again. You're doing awesome. Good job. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and move on to um, handstands. So you're going to stretch up, and when you're, you're on a beam, your hands are like this, okay? So your thumbs are together, and you can have it on the beam like this, or you can have it on the beam like this, okay? I, I prefer this, but if you're just starting out and you're on the floor, it's okay if you don't do that. If you go on the beam, I want them like this. If you're on the floor, go ahead and put them like this, okay? So start in your lunge, bend the knee, reach, and push tall. Very good. So our legs are a little loose at the top, so as soon as those hands hit the beam, you want to push really tall, get the shoulders on your ears. Turn around this way. Relax this way. Relax your shoulders. Now push your shoulders to your ears. You want your hands like this, so try pushing their arms down, and if they move down at all, then she's not being tight, okay? So the more she pushes through her shoulders, when she hits the floor, they shouldn't relax. They should push even more. Okay? And then grow your toes up to the ceiling, reach long, and push tall. Much better. Okay? Handstands, handstands, handstands. They're in every event. They're in bars, beam, vault, and floor. And if you can't have a good hand, if you don't have a good handstand, then nothing's gonna be good. Okay? So I don't if you practice handstands every single day and nothing else, it would help every skill, as long as you're stretching and conditioning. Okay? Try it one more time. Doing great. Reach, stretch, push, hold. Very nice. Good job. Okay, now we're going to move on to our conditioning. Okay? So we're going to do lunges with uh, weights this time and squats with weights. Okay? So you're going to put one in each hand. Or if you don't have weights, you can use a ball, kind of a heavy ball. Or you can even use something like this. Okay? And just hold. Like if you're doing lunges, use this. Okay, like that, or this, or in the arms just in front of you like that, okay? So when you do, scoot up just a little bit. When you do a lunge, go ahead and show me a lunge. And then, yeah, perfect. So I don't want this knee to actually touch the floor, so just try and do five, okay? Keep looking straight, it'll help you keep your balance. Two, three. Make sure this knee doesn't go over the toe. You want your whole foot flat. I shouldn't be able to get my finger under there. You want your foot turned out, and you want your knee right in line with your ankle. Do five. Go. One. Two. There you go. Good. Three. Turn that foot out. Four. Make sure that knee's in line with the ankle. And five. Then you're going to do your other foot. Try and just keep those weights by your sides. Okay? Foot out, one, there you go, two, turn that foot out, three, four, and five. Good job. So try and do three sets of those at home on each leg, okay? 
Now you're going to go to squats. And you can, again, use this right here, just like this, or hold a ball, or hold uh, this right here. These are only three pound weights. For somebody like her, she'd probably use five, five pound weights if you have some at home. If not, use a, a can of peas or corn or something like that. That would work too, okay? So now you're going to do squats. Turn around this way. So you're going to just squat and push up, okay? Try and make sure that your knees are in line with your ankles and make sure your hips are behind your knees. So the knees are still in line with the ankles and your hips go back. Pull that tummy in, stay nice and tall. Look straight ahead, okay? Sit back and push up. One, good, keep going. Two, three, four, and five. How are those weights? Are they good? So she could probably use some more weight if, if she says they're good. She could probably use some more. All right, so now, we're going to do uh, our conditioning for the day. It's going to be handstands and straddle handstand and a regular handstand. So uh, let's do the straddle handstand first. So your back is going to go against a wall and you're going to stop in your straddle. Okay? Here. And point your toes and really push through your shoulders and point your toes. And I want you to try and hold it there for about 10 seconds and then go ahead and step down. Okay, so do about three sets of 10 or 15, 20 if you can. So for the advanced conditioning skill, we're going to go into cartwheels, and we're going to hold those. And this is for your star, okay? So go ahead and show them how you get into it. So I want your belly to be facing the wall. This is going to be a wall. You're going to have tight knees, squeeze your bum, push through your shoulders so that your shoulders are touching your ears. Try and grow really, really tall, yeah, and squeeze, okay? So you want to do that. And... For one star, you get uh, you have to do it for 30 seconds. And for two stars, you do it 45 seconds. And for three stars, you have to hold it for 60 seconds, okay? So you can come down. Good job. All right, so now we're going to end with our stretching. It's very important to stretch, so make sure you do that at the end. We're going to start with standing pipe, okay? So you're going to go ahead and turn this way. So you're going to put your feet together and touch the floor, okay? Try and get your hands flat. We've done this already, but it's you need to do it every day so that eventually these hands will be flat and without bending the knees. So go ahead and put your hands flat and bend your knees a little bit, okay? So your goal is just to push your heels into the floor and lock those knees out so that eventually you can get back further and further and further with straight legs, okay? So just go ahead and straighten the knees and go down as far as you can and just hold it. Lock those knees. Hold it 10, lock them out. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So really work on that stretch because it's really important for bars. If you, if you can't like hike over, it's going to be hard to do a lot of those skills too. Okay. And then the next thing is going to be our straddle. Same thing. This is going to make it easier to hit the floor. And you're going to walk your hands back as far as you can. Trying to keep those hands flat and lock those knees. Same thing, okay? So if it's really too easy, you can actually put your hands here and slide them back. So your goal is to get way back there with flat hands, okay? Turn the hands in and try and get back there, okay? Good. And hold it. Ten. Lock those knees. Nine. Get the head in. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Keep trying to get those hands flat. Four. Three. Two. One. Good job. And then, of course, we did bridges today, but I want you to stretch your back out again. So you're going to lay on your back, push up in a bridge. Rock back and forth ten times. One, two, three, four, faster. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rock it out. So it's good to go slow and stretch back as far as you can and forward and slow, stretch back as far as you can. It's okay to go slow, but I wanted her to do 10 while we're here. And rocking the back out is good because you want to, after stretching your spine this way, you want to kind of get it back to where it was. All right, so now we're going to do shoulder stretches. So keep laying here, put your arms behind you, okay? She's pretty flexible in her shoulders, but your goal is really just to get your armpits on the floor. That's how flexible you want to be. So it, it'll take some time for a lot of kids to be able to do even this right here. So you're going to hold it 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, stay right there. So, put your legs up. This tends to put a little more pressure on the shoulders, okay? So if that seemed really easy, go ahead and hold those legs up, lock the knees, point the toes, four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay? And then always make sure you shrug your shoulders, roll them forward, backwards, stretch those shoulders out. Okay? And the last thing we're going to do, and this is for the star, is the seal. Okay? So you just put your hands on the floor and lay down. Okay? And you're going to stretch up. This is one star right here. Okay? Two stars would be good form, like legs together. Point your toes nice and tall, chin looking up, and it makes the back arch more. And make sure the shoulders are right above the hands, so scoot your hands back a little bit. Yep, and squeeze the feet. This would be two stars. Three stars would be bringing the toes to the head. Very nice, and that's your three stars. Good job, Ayla. You did awesome today. Thank you for coming, and we'll see you next week. Bye, guys. See you next week.